Pepper and George are doing what they love to do most of all, jumping in muddy puddles. But grey clouds begin to form. And oh no, it begins to rain. Pepper and George rush into the house to stay dry. Daddy Pig tells them that they came in at the right time. It's almost dinner time. Pepper and George come into the kitchen and sit down, but oh dear, muddy footprints on the floor. <laughs> Mummy Pig isn't pleased. Pepper and George are to have a bath after dinner. The family settle down for their dinner. Pepper and George are watching TV. Mummy Pig asks if they've had their bath yet. Pepper and George look at each other. We will, replies Pepper. Sometime later, Pepper is playing with in the playroom. And George is in the bedroom playing with Mr. Dinosaur. Mummy Pig asks Pepper and George if they've had their bath yet. Not yet, Mummy, Pepper says. Meanwhile, Daddy Pig has been running the bath and getting it warm and bubbly for Pepper and George. Pepper, George, bath time, he calls. Daddy Pig says if they get themselves clean and in their pyjamas, he has a super special surprise for them both before they go to sleep. Pepper and George put on their pyjamas, brush their teeth, and meet Mummy and Daddy Pig in the attic study. Daddy Pig has put up his old telescope. He asks Pepper to look through, but Pepper says it's been raining. All they'll see is clouds. He laughs and tells Pepper and George that it stopped raining whilst they were in the bath. Pepper looks through the telescope and sees something whoosh across the sky. A shooting star. Daddy Pig was right. This is a super special surprise. The two begin to yawn. It's time for bed. Pepper and George climb into bed, dreaming of the stars. Good night, Pepper and George. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother George. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Peppa Pig. It is almost time for bed. Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig and Peppa are having mugs of hot milk. <laughs> George, why are you dressed up in that space suit? You should be in your pyjamas. <laughs> George loves everything to do with space. Oh! <laughs> George, take your space helmet off to drink your milk. <laughs> Bedtime, little ones. <laughs> At night, George likes to listen to his space mobile. Not space again. <sighs> it's boring. Space isn't boring. It's full of stars. I can't see anything. It's too dark. It's easier to see the stars from outside. Can we go outside now? Pepper, you're in your pyjamas. Maybe if you put your coats on over your pyjamas, we could go outside just this once. Hooray! <laughs> Daddy, why are you lying on the ground? This is the best way to see the stars. <laughs> Look at these little stars. Imagine you are joining the dots. That's called the Big Dipper. Ooh! Yes! And the two stars at the end point to the North Star. Wow! North Star, North Star, are you near or are you far? Can we get there?
there in the cold. <laughs> no, Peppa. The stars are much too far away. Are they even further than the seaside? Oh, yes. But they look a lot closer through a telescope. Have we got a telescope? <coughs> no, but Grandpa Pig has a very good telescope. Can we go to Grandpa Pig's house now? <laughs> it's much too late. <coughs> Maybe we can go just this once, Daddy Pig. Hooray! It is the first time Peppa and George have been in the car at night. <coughs> Look, we're following the North Star. <laughs> North Star, North Star, shining with a twinkly glow. Please show us the way to go. <laughs> Peppa and George have arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Oh dear, I do hope Grandpa and Granny Pig haven't gone to bed. What are you doing here at this hour? We want to see the stars. Peppa and George were hoping they could look through your telescope. I see. Very well. To the top of the house, everyone. <laughs> Here she is, old Bess. Wow! Grandpa Pig's hobby is looking at the stars. Now, who's for the first look? Me, me, me! Ooh, the North Star! We sailors use it to find our way home. Daddy used it to find his way here. <laughs> <laughs> Are there other things in the sky? Yes. This is a planet called Saturn. Wow. What are those pretty rings? They are made of rock and ice. Saturn is very, very cold. We could build a snowman, George. <laughs> 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 Quick, look! Oh. It's a shooting star. You must make a wish. I wish that when George is old enough to have his own rocket, he will take me into space. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Pig. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm a bit tired. It's been a long day. George and I aren't sleepy at all. Can we play in the garden? But it's almost your bedtime. Can we play outside for just a tiny bit? Please, Mummy. Please, Daddy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> But you must come in when we call you for your bath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they get their energy from. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing one last game outside before bedtime. Look, George. <laughs> Lots of muddy puddles. <laughs> Pepper and George are wearing their boots. They are going to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pepper loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. George loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Look! The biggest puddle in the world! What a huge big puddle! <laughs> Pepper! George! Bath time! <laughs> Daddy! Mummy! We found the biggest muddy puddle in the world! I can see that! <laughs> Quick, into the bath. Oh, can't we just play outside a bit longer? <laughs> no, it's bath time. <laughs> <laughs> are you and George feeling sleepy? No, Daddy. We are not even a tiny bit sleepy. <laughs> Pepper and George might not be sleepy, but I am. Me too. <sighs> Before bedtime, Pepper and George have their bath. <laughs> Pepper likes splashing. George likes splashing. Pepper and George both like splashing. <laughs> That's enough splashing. Let's get you dry and into your pajamas. Oh, can't we just stay in the bath a little bit longer? <laughs> bath time is over. Now it's time to clean your teeth. Before going to bed, Pepper and George brush their teeth. 
<laughs> OK, that's enough brushing. Into your beds. Oh, I think our teeth need a bit more cleaning. When you're in bed, Daddy Pig will read you a story. <laughs> Pepper and George like stories. <laughs> when Pepper goes to bed, she always has her teddy tucked up with her. When George goes to bed, he always has Mr Dinosaur tucked up with him. Are you feeling sleepy now? No, Daddy. We need lots and lots of stories. Daddy Pig will read you one story. Now, which book do you want? Um, the Red Monkey Book. <laughs> OK, I'll read you the Red Monkey Book. Peppa and George like the Red Monkey Book. Once upon a time... <sighs> oh, sorry, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. And this red monkey had a bath. And cleaned his teeth. He got into his bed. And soon he fell fast asleep. Good night, red monkey. Pepper and George are asleep. Good night, Pepper and George. Sleep well. <sighs> <sighs> Now Peppa and George are asleep, <sighs> Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are going to watch some television. And now it's time for the amazing Mr. Potato. I've been looking forward to watching this program. The amazing Mr. Potato is always ready for action. He runs fast. He jumps high. He never sleeps. <sighs> it is bedtime for Peppa and George. And it looks as if it is bedtime for Mummy and Daddy, too. <laughs> <laughs>